Welcome back to the Bluegrass on this beautiful May day. Uh, we're out in our pre-adventure area doing some uh, preliminary training, getting ready to go do some hiking and uh, canoeing later on. But I wanted to answer the question that I posed on Friday, which is which one of these puppies almost died? And uh, guys, if you're wondering which puppy just had heart surgery, it was this one right here, right? His name is Teddy. He's a Jack, Jack Russell Terrier, and uh, he suffered from a condition known as patent ductus arteriosus, uh, otherwise known as PDA. So we're just gonna take a walk while I talk. Come on, dogs! And, uh, and let you guys marvel at the fact that Teddy just just hangs out with these other dogs. I mean, it's about 75, 76 degrees today, and uh, we've been out here for a little while making videos, and uh, he's just a trooper. You know, no problems at all. It's super amazing. The state of veterinary technology, it really is just kind of mind blowing as it relates to uh, surgical procedures, okay? So uh, for those that aren't familiar uh, with what happened, basically uh, when Teddy was in utero, when all these dogs were in utero, when you were in utero, okay, you have a little structure on your heart called a ductus arteriosus. And the point of that uh, structure is to, uh, connect the aorta and the pulmonary artery bypassing the lungs because, because of course when you're in utero you know you can't uh, you know there's no need to try to breathe uh, and what happens is once a puppy's born uh, that first as their as their lungs fill with air uh, it sends a signal to the body to close the ductus arteriosus now sometimes that doesn't happen and what you end up with is leakage uh, from that structure into the into the heart and um, when uh, Teddy first came here, you know, we had two Jack Russells here. We had Teddy and Mabel, and we were going to make a whole series on Jack Russells because everybody likes Jack Russells. And uh, one of the first things we noticed was that uh, Teddy, he just wasn't as thrifty as Mabel. Uh, and, like, they were the same age, but Mabel had much better appetite. She had much better muscle tone. She weighed more, and she didn't get fatigued very easily. Poor Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Watch Teddy run now. He can run, see so he's gonna run with this German Shepherd. Got some labs coming up here. And he's gonna, you know, he'd be out here hiking with us all afternoon. It doesn't bother him a bit. When he was a baby, just that little bit of exercise right there would cause him to almost collapse in fatigue. And uh, the cameraman would feel sorry for him, you know, and go over there and pick him up. And after a couple of times, uh, she kind of noticed. She said, Stoney, something's wrong with this dog. Uh, you know, his heart's not right. And so we called my buddy Rex. And I said, hey, Rex, can you take a, take a look at this dog? And so uh, he was like, sure. So we took him up to the vet clinic and uh, uh, listened to his heart. There was obvious murmur, I mean, very obvious murmur that somehow had gotten missed when he was a baby. And uh, took some x-rays of his heart. And I'm going to post those up in the corner right now. And his heart was so enlarged, it was almost filling his whole chest cavity. So I had to call his owner. Believe me, that wasn't a very you know, comfortable conversation. Uh, and tell her that, uh, you know, Teddy's ticking time bomb. I mean, he's on the early stages of congestive heart failure. And uh, she was like, she wasn't cool with that, you know. I mean, she's a very understanding lady, but she wanted to see if something could be done. And uh, listen, guys, you know, I've been in the dog business for a long time, and most of the time when you have a puppy and it has a, you know, it's, 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 it's got a real bad heart murmur, uh, things, they don't work out very well. But I was like, okay, well, let's see. And uh, we got to talking to some cardiologists, and sure enough, PDA is, uh, or patent ductus arteriosus. And the reason they call it patent ductus arteriosus is because in that structure, okay, when, uh, when the body gets that first bit of oxygen, the structure sp supposedly sent a signal to close. If it remains open, they call it patent. So that's really just the reason it's called patent uh, ductus arteriosus. But anyway, PDA is how they abbreviate it. And, and it's common enough so that like there's been some great inroads made in terms of how to treat it. Now you have two basic options. One of them is you actually go in there and like tie uh, the structure up, you know? So you gotta like do an invasive heart surgery. Uh, but the other uh, is, uh, the placement of an occluder disc via the art arterial system, okay? And that's what Teddy had. Basically, uh, they went right up through here with a little catheter, and on the end of that ca catheter, there was a little compressed disc, okay? And when they got that little compressed disc in place, they released it, and it pops open to occlude that structure, that arteriosus, uh, uh, ductus arteriosus. And so it basically mimics what the body should have done uh, uh, during the first three days of life, okay? And I was, I'm not gonna lie to you, 
I was a little skeptical about how, how well that was going to work. And so uh, when Teddy's owner uh, emailed me and said, hey, Stoney, Teddy's ready to come back and uh, do a little adventure training, I, you know, I sent her some hesitant emails back. I was like, well, uh, kind of busy. And, and uh, then I also was like, uh, did he get the, you know, super good clearance from the vet? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to double check. So I'm like double checking. Like, can he run and play and do all the normal stuff that puppies are supposed to do? And she was like, yeah, you know, sure. And so I told the cameraman, I was like, Teddy's coming back. And the cameraman kind of looked at me like, you sure? And I was like, well, I guess we'll see. And um, Come on, Teddy. And sure enough, we got him out here. And at first, we were pretty, uh, we were pretty reserved with uh, what we let him do, you know. But like that didn't last long because he returned to true Jack Russell-like character. And he was like, Stoney, you're not going anywhere without me. If there's any activity to be done, then I'm going to be in the middle of it. And so look. Now he just uh, tags along. Every once in a while he runs off and chases a rabbit or something. But he's pretty good about coming back. Here, come on, cameraman. We'll walk up this way. Folks. All right, so I had to come up here to end the video because I knew all of you guys who follow my channel, you've seen Teddy run around and play with the other dogs. You've seen him do the Exercise of Small Challenges course. You've seen him walk and hike in the pre-adventure area. So I know all of you guys are going want to want to see if he can master the uh, brush pile challenge. Well, our brush pile is really high right now because we've been stacking it up because we've been training uh, these farm dogs I have, you know, these Malinois, German Shepherd, Dutch Shepherd crosses. So, Teddy being a little fella, uh, even with the best heart surgery in the world, he's not really up to conquering the big brush pile challenge, but luckily, I have a wood pile challenge designed especially for small dogs to get proper environmental socialization and to test their footing. So we'll end this video at the wood pile doing the wood pile challenge. All right, so let's put this heart surgery to the final test, see what it can do with the world famous wood pile challenge. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna start walking on these logs that I have stacked up and we'll see if Teddy can follow me. And he has to be sure footed. Guys, this isn't any Hollywood set, these are real logs that are really <laughs> like just put up here randomly and look i got two wood pile conquerors up here you know which is funny because a lot of you guys thought that norman was the one that had the uh the heart problem just because he kind of gets out of breath easy nah that's just a little english uh chubby for you but looky here uh guys you gotta love it when a plan works out and uh you know, amazingly enough, this plan for Teddy has worked out and he's getting to live his best life. So what can he do? He can do everything that all the big dogs can do. And again, I'm just humbled and amazed at the people behind such an awesome veterinary procedure. And again, if your dog has PDA, then like keep your head up because there are a lot of options nowadays and every month those options are getting more and more affordable. So keep your head up and keep a good attitude because like uh, if you're lucky and you have this problem, your dog's procedure will work out just like Teddy's and uh, look, it'll end up being a non-factor in uh, his, him living his best life. All right guys, I'll see y'all next week.